Hey, 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 so a lot of people ask me questions about exercise while you're doing an OMAD diet. So today, today, I wrote down a bunch of things that I want to share with you. So let's get right to it so I don't have to take too long to get into these ideas with a long introduction. So first point that I want to share. We know that with the 16-8 method of fasting, we know that human growth hormone goes up, testosterone goes up. So the longer you fast, of course there's a limit, right? It starts to taper down after that, but the longer you fast, the more those go up. So that's why for things like weightlifting, calisthenics, or any kind of resistance workout that you want to do, you might get more benefits doing it longer into your fast instead of doing it earlier on during the day maybe do it closer to your meal time of course this is going to depend on what your meal time is but if you can do it closer to your meal time you 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 kind of take an advantage of your hormonal state at that time your hormonal situation i guess i'll call it that way too but you're taking advantage of that even more so play around with that but also in my opinion if you're too if you're close to bedtime you're working out we know the the hormonal response that you get from a workout it might mess up your sleeping patterns that's just my opinion i mean not only mine but you know what i mean um play around with those play around with the times you know your body better than i do so see what works for you some people do cardio in the morning to deplete their um, glycogen stores so that could be a good idea that could be a good idea to do cardio in the morning whatever the hell you want to do um, and uh, the other thing too that I wrote down is that cardio helps with autophagy which in my opinion is one of the best benefits of OMAD so I feel like by adding cardio in the morning increasing autophagy and the other benefits that you get it's a pretty cool idea so and I'll make another video on autophagy because it's fascinating um, the other point that I wanted to make is that while fasting, coffee before a workout doesn't work well for me personally, for me, for this guy. I'm not saying there's research on that. I'm not saying that that's what you should do, but for me, for this guy you see right here, that doesn't work. So that way before people start making nasty negative comments below, I'll share that it's just my experience. I sometimes don't feel good. Sometimes, not always, but sometimes if I have coffee while fasted and I work out, I don't feel great during the workout sometimes it's okay but just wanted to share that because some people wonder about that kind of thing so play around with that experiment with that I'm not I can't tell you what you're gonna experience um, what's funny about exercise is that it actually helps me with hunger so a lot of people have that question when starting out um, first of all it gets your mind off of food and physiologically and hormonally it suppresses hunger in my opinion so not only will it help with that right so if I made other videos about this too like if you're having if you're experiencing a lot of hunger uh, a workout might actually be a great solution for that so um, yeah that's what I wanted to share that for that one another question that a lot of people have when starting out is that for me many many times workouts are actually better on an empty stomach i know it might take some time to adjust and be able to get to that point but for me a lot of times my, my workouts are better on an empty stomach um and a lot, a lot of athletes do this too and i'm definitely gonna make a video on that um but it's fascinating that athletes at the level that they train they can also do it on an empty stomach they feel like they get better results in an empty stomach so just think about that one fascinating Another point is to ease into it. Give your body time to adapt. Give your metabolism time to adapt. Give your system time to adapt. You're changing things up significantly, um, depending on what you were doing before, but just give your body time to adapt. Ease into it. Another great point is to balance working out with what I call working in. So working out is anything that you spend a lot of energy you know what working out is i don't have to explain that working in <laughs> that was a dumb thing that i just said of course you know what working out is but working in are things that energize you that fill you up again that refill 
your energy levels, right? Refuel you. So anything like yoga, going out for a gentle walk, breathing exercises like Qi Gong, Tai Chi, anything like that, uh, meditation, right? Uh, going for an easy hike that is not strenuous, or any hobby that you have, any hobby that energizes you, right? Some kind of gentle things that you like doing, art, Art can be a great way to refuel your tank. Anything that energizes you, balance that, right? Balance working out with working in. Because you wanna support your system as you're going through this. You wanna support your body with OMAD. So that way that you, you do get the benefits of actually having more energy on OMAD, which is what I experience a lot of the time. Last point I wanna make, we're all different and we're all at different stages of our journeys. So, sometimes, the point that I wanna make, I'm not, I don't wanna upset anyone, but sometimes, listen to your body. Listen to your body more than maybe you're used to. Pay more attention to your own doctor, your own guru, your own health coach, aka your body, than you do all the gurus online. Of course we want to learn, of course we need to educate ourselves and all of that, but sometimes we need to pay more attention to our own health guru, our own health coach, our own doctor. And that's a deeper topic, but I just want to leave you with that food for thought for today. Have an amazing day.